It's a Christmas miracle. Right, here is Manchester Piccadilly um, Station. It reminds me of a, a dog collar or something like that. £2.50. Welcome to a new vlog. We are still at the lodge. Nick's watching, watching some cheesy film on the Hallmark Channel. Ch Charming Christmas. Well, it's not the Hallmark Channel, it's a Hallmark movie. Okay. Charming Christmas. It is very predictable. Cheesy. The main star just looks like Kyle Minogue, I what? think. The main star just looks like Kyle Minogue. And the guy on it looks like Scott Bakula. Uh, we are heading home today. Um, we're not looking very Christmassy whatsoever. And uh, Nick even has the same t-shirt on as the last video. I've just noticed. And? <laughs> Um, it's winter. We I'm are not going to sweat in these. I'm going to wear it at least two days. Heading home back to the apartment uh, because Nick has a couple of appointments this week with his mum at the hospital. Um, so he's going to go there. I'm going to go and see my family. Uh, he's going to drop me off. So we'll film bits and bats along the way. We're going to hopefully get time to put the Christmas trees up at the apartment. I might put, check some trousers so we can do a bit of a winter walk in the woods. Mm, up okay. in the hills. Okay. So if you saw like last... We did, like we did in Vlogmas. Log lockdown. Lockdown Vlogmas, yeah. yeah. If you saw it always snowed then. Last vlogmas, you'll see seen <laughs> see seen that we got two Christmas trees for the apartment, one downstairs and one upstairs, two pencil pines, and um, a, pencil, a six foot pencil pine in a three meter tall ceiling. It looks perfect. It's ridiculous to me. Um, so we're going to put the one up in the bedroom first, maybe so it's all cosy and. So we have a spare ten foot Christmas tree that snug. something you'd have to shed, don't we? If anybody wants to buy it, <laughs> let us know. Let us know. It's just like that one here that we've got at the lodge, yeah, exactly yeah. the same. No trimmings because we've trim. used them. Have we? We no, used them on the trees at the oh, apartment. Yeah, we have, yeah. Anyway, um, so that's what's happening today. We're just going to head out for a coffee with our friends Peter and Elaine for catch a little catch up. And then um, we're going to head home. Get home to the apartment. Before we go, we'll do the advent calendar. The only trouble with getting these kind of advent calendars is <laughs> there's no surprise when you know exactly what it's going to be. Well, there is a surprise. It's just that one we've got to get now oh, and then we've yes, got it all. I do. Well, it's... Go on then. It is your turn for number three and then mine's number four. I'll do number three. Yay! So now, shall I do number four then? Comb. Shall I do number four? Yeah. I wonder what it could be. It's going to be... Ooh, oh, orange. actually, that orange one was really nice. That's what there. No, no, let me go. You like orange? You said you loved it. No, I did like it actually. There we go. Right, we're in the car driving home. I've just seen to leave. This is very strange because we haven't done this for like two months, have we? Like done an update in a car. Oh, it's, all been, in a car. it's always been like the road trip. So um, we're on our way back to the apartment and it's very foggy and wintry and we're listening to Heart Christmas. It actually started before we'd even landed back in October, yeah. didn't it? Well, we're actually going to your mum's to see her. Yeah, we're going to go and see my mum and just get her uh, details of her appointments for tomorrow so I know where we're going when we go to the hospital. And then we're going to head to the apartment. I've got the heating on. Uh, we may put the tree up later today or one of them and we one may put the yeah. other one up tomorrow. Um, we forgot to bring any food for dinner so I may make something festive for tea. Oh, you brought eggs though, didn't you? Oh yeah, I can do festive eggs. I don't know how. Scramble oh. some toast for tea. That's, that's not bloody festive. I'll come up with something. Right, we briefly called off at my mum's just to check the appointment letters for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be going on my own. Lee's going to go and see his mum uh, very early morning. Though. I've got to be in Sheffield for half past nine. We're just on the way back to the apartment and the fog is so thick on the tops. It's like it was like two minutes ago, it was five feet in front, wasn't it? Correct. We had to slow down to almost stop. So um, I can't wait to get in and just get my pyjamas on, my Christmas pyjamas on, and snuggle and maybe get all the trimmings out from under the bed. Would you like to update the viewers on what happened with your mum's hair? So, the other day, when she was at the lodge, um, she can't stand for long periods because her back hurts and it hurts in her legs now. So I put a, an outdoor patio chair into the shower so she could sit down and have a shower and it was working great. Put the um, lotions and potions out for her, but she grabbed Lee's hair dye from the... Um, hair redu hair grey reducing shampoo it is that I use. Lee's hair dye and um, she's washed her blonde hair with it so I've just seen her for the first time she's got full grey hair now just from one use yeah, she's got a big streak of brown yeah hair. she looks like bloody Cruella de Vil so uh, she's got blonde on one side and grey on the other so uh, we were just laughing at her she hadn't even noticed it from uh, all weekends and she's actually been to Butlins hasn't she so uh, right let's get back to the apartment 
Right, we're in the apartment. Nick's got his um, Jimmy Jams on. So have you. So have I, yes, so have I. And um, Nick is creating a what? Spanish, Spanish omelette. Just literally, it was leftovers from the lodge. Try to do something Christmas a bit, we ain't got off. It's a festive Spanish omelette. No, it's not. Because festive. you're in your festive pyjamas. It might be festive because we had a glass of mulled wine with it, which I do happen to know we do have. Oh no. no. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of mulled wine. Oh, well, it's not really long, it's unless there's something wrong with it. Oh, I'll tell you something. These onions are making my eyes sting like I don't know what. Right. There's just not enough eggs to make it a really like deep filled Spanish omelette, but mm. I'm gonna cook it in the oven. Do we need a slice of toast with it? Oh no. Just some tomato, just some uh, HP sauce. I think I'm gonna have a slice of toast. Right. It's quite fluffy for a Spanish omelette, but this is very similar to what we had when we went on the road trip and you said you absolutely loved it. We don't have any Coleman's mustard though, which is usually... Where did we have it on a on the road trip? I had scraps in the um, fridge in the, in the, on the, um, not the American road trip. Oh yeah, yeah. Van life. And you said it was the nicest omelette you'd ever had. That's mine with the toast. Toast. Gotta have some HP sauce on eggs. toast. And uh, right, let's go enjoy this. God, it's gonna be filling. Good, not allowed to eat there. Hello. It's a couple of days later from the last scene, so um, we've... Uh, Two days. Yes. We've still not put the Christmas tree up at the apartment. No, we're waiting for the vlog. So are we... Waiting for the vlog? We just don't have time. No, we're waiting to do it on the vlog. <laughs> Nick's had a, a full day at the hospital with his mum. I had some time with my parents, took them out for lunch. Then yesterday we had a full day at Nick's mum's. So today is the first day we've had free um, since we got back. To do something Christmassy. We're all dressed up. And we got... are. And I've got long trousers on. Oh. It's a Christmas miracle. Well, it is only five. I'm only doing it because of what we're doing today. Yeah, it is only four degrees outside. Yes. I've got a new Christmas jumper on. Nick's got his Christmas shirt on. And before we tell you what we're going to be doing, um, Nick's going to open a new Christmas advent calendar. Oh, yes, I am. My does mum. That mean, does, does that mean I can open like four days worth? Where is it now? <laughs> um, my mum bought Nick this because he loves Kinder. Oh my god, Kinder's my favourite chocolate. He's a ton and all to say it's an advent calendar. Right, so what arm day shall I open? As many as you like. Every day's best. Number well, one's there. Let me see what size. Oh my Kinder god. Mini. They're in packet. Just open two and then I'll have one as oh, well. No. Uh, two. Well, we opened two in the last one, so we'll open three. Another little Is mini it different? one. Are they all the same or different Think flavors? So, yeah, they're all 24 of the minis. Oh, well, that's a bit boring. So, but, uh, no pictures be, behind. It'd be nice if it were like different flavors. Yeah. Three. Oh, a Kinder Mini. Oh, I wonder what's in day Shall four. I go for four. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, another Kinder Mini. Mini. So, it's 20 past nine. Uh, my sister has a day off today, so she's on her way over, and um, we're either driving or getting the train to we're Manchester. Train. Well, if we catch it in time, I'm not sure. Um, well, knowing your sister, we'll probably get an 11 o'clock train instead of 9.30. We're going to the Manchester um, Christmas markets. Never been before. No, apparently, I think I read that it's the second biggest in Europe, second biggest Christmas market in Europe. Never been. Hopefully, it we is. We can been. both have a drink then. Last trip. Hopefully it's midweek. Well, not hopefully it's midweek. It is midweek, so hopefully it'll be quiet. Hopefully midweek. I mean, are we hoping it's not? Hopefully it's quieter than like on a weekend. Um, so we're we'll just waiting for it to come. Then we'll get off to the train station and then um, get on his way. The first time we've vlogged outside in over a month. Well, yes, it's America. <laughs> we're actually. just walking to this train station. My sister's all the way behind. I already missed first train because she was late. I missed first train because she got here late. And now. They were just sat around having coffees and teas. I'm like, I think we should go to the train station. The train leaves in 12 minutes. We haven't even got there yet. But nobody ever listens to me. So hopefully we'll be on a train in five minutes. You might not catch it. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop when the bell on the door jingled once more and then What are you looking forward to the most? Tata Follette. If they've got one. I'm going to say we're not in Disneyland Paris. No, but the um, YouTube videos that I watched showed like German, Brazilian, all different sort of like nationality foods. So if there's a French one, I want to to collect. But everything would change from now on. Yeah. Tell them what made you like so much. 
here we are, arriving in Manchester. And I think it's a 10 minute walk to the Christmas market. Well, I think it starts around the train station and then goes up to the Arndale Centre, so this, it's a lot different to Leeds, apparently. Not, not one to fool now. Right, here is Manchester Piccadilly um, Station. We're both just saying it feels like we're going on holiday, don't it? Somewhere, it where's this flight? <laughs> Right, let's find his way out. Right, it's a 10 minute um, walk from the station to the market. I wonder if that's in there. Yeah, it's over there, I can see it. I can see the teepee. We'll have to go see if we can get to... Uh, chocolate. Yeah. Right, the entrance to the uh, market and we spotted the big Primark over there which apparently has this uh, friend's Central Perk Cafe in. Might have a little mooch in there as well. A what? German, some kind of German stall here. German Luch wine or Fancy something. Fancy hot sausage. Right, we're on the lookout for uh, food and drink. Churros, luxury hot chocolates and uh, actual churros as well. And Greek gyros. Look at these weird burgers. All different colours of rolls. Very strange. Look at that festive dogs as well. Festive dog. Wow, good yeah, actually. What, festive dog? Yeah, I'm gonna have a festive dog. Oh uh, no, I don't, I'm not sure what I fancy yet. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want to peak too early. No, exactly. I've only just got here. No. Right, we're starting here with some Lancashire cheese potatoes, bubble and squeak, and navy mushrooms. Right, come and sit at the smallest table in the world. Oh my God, they're garlicky. They're mushrooms. Mm. Mm. So that's Lancashire potatoes, yeah. bubble and squeak, and then navy mushrooms, which are really garlicky. Yeah, they are. But I want to try this. This um, Lancashire cheese potato. Because oh, yeah. you were wanting a tartar filet. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Creamy and cheesy. Let me try the bubble and squeak. I'm never a fan of bubble and squeak. It's just leftover Sunday dinner. Mm. I'm mm. going to try that. Oh, no, not fond of that. But then, oh my god. Just tried this sticky toffee heaven cheese, heaven cheese and it's very, very nice. It's very strange but very nice. Mind yeah. at some point, Mike and Hannah come on. Yeah. And it's bloody like, mint yogurt, it's bloody boiling. We've just got three cheeses and one of them is very the spicy. Jamaican one. You pick that one, I yeah. the, uh, the the cheesy flavours. You've just got the, well, I've got the sticky toffee pudding one, which we'll have with crackers, uh, like um, digestive. Digestive. But I don't know what we're going to have with that. Christ. That is going to hurt on the way out. Lovely. <laughs> right, so we're in the next section now, which is more um, bars food etc the good thing about here is all the food places as well as all the cheese places so far have given out samples so we're kind of full on cheese at the moment cheese and the uh, cheese potatoes that we just had you want a drink here look up there nick come here no, look, look skyliner <laughs> manchester christmas market skyliner <laughs> oh, yeah. it's just a, uh, a cardboard cut out Right, straight outside from the bar and we're back into another precinct area and um, we're near all the foods again. So the markets here this year, I mean I've never been before so it might be like this every year, but they're kind of sprinkled across all the open areas, all the open precincts. And um, there's like an Indian stall. Oh my God, that looks amazing. And then um, Chinese. got a Chinese one. So this is like more like the world foods down here, isn't it? Oh, there's a bakery over there. And then uh, sausages. And what's this one? Tacos, and, Tacos and burritos. Sausages. And then we've got another kitchen here, Afro-Caribbean. Oh, I fancy some, uh, like some jerk food. chicken. Oh. More stalls here. This looks like it's less food and more sort of crafts and decorations. Vegan stall. Skip bats. Although it is cakes, so we might as well have a, look, have a mooch. Ooh, they do look nice, actually. Where's the fudge? Oh. I might get my mum a block. I know she's fond of fudge. It might be one of the things that she eats. What do you fancy? Uh, Lee liked that. I thought it was rank. The, I had a taste of the salted caramel fudge and I thought it was beautiful. Oh, it Moon tasted time. like the kind of flavourings that you put in like you can buy from Tesco, like the, um, you know, the concentrated flavourings that you put in stuff. Yeah. Didn't oh, taste really like true it. caramel. Chocolate and rum. Sweet. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. Nice and hot chocolate. Nice. 
So the hot chocolate here, which Nick is getting, is actually a Ghirardelli hot chocolate with cream on top as well. No, that's it's like a syrup. Yeah, Ghirardelli syrup. Made from syrup rather than powder, so it should be actually smoother, smooth and creamy. I have an Americano here. How is it? Mm. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I like it when you've got a syrup hot chocolate rather than a powder based yeah. hot chocolate. Because it just like makes it more luxurious. Like, yeah. So you got an Americano with hot milk. How does that come how does that compare to a normal Americano? Is it just, just a normal coffee? Uh, no, it's nicer. It's nicer. What about yours, Janine? Nice mocha. Janine got half coffee, half chocolate mocha. But then um, onto another snack stall after here, I think. We were just saying it's like Epcot. <laughs> we're going through all the food booths. However, all three of these were eight pound. So that's ah, cheap yeah. as chips. Who've we got? Oh, baby Yoda. <laughs> looks like a sheep. Let's have a look. It actually yeah, looks like a sheep. Like a baby Yoda sheep. If that were all, if that were all cream, that would be a sheep. Masher would love it, I'm sure. Ah, two D two. Spider Man. How much other? Fifteen pound two for twenty seven. Yeah. Right. Time for another snack. Here's your dinner. <laughs> Chicken we are going to share this. Wrap. Uh, from this Indian <laughs> stall here. It's very busy at the moment. Smell. I think it's like lunchtime for all the Manchester workers yeah, and they're is. all out and about. jean has got a uh, samosa here. Um, so you're probably thinking, that's not very festive, but it's one of the street food stalls that are here, so I'm going to try it now. I've actually put um, mint yogurt sauce on it as well. Let's try it. I think we're going to go in Primark soon. We'll have a look at all their Christmas stuff. And, and there's a friend's Central Perk Cafe in there. Well, no. It's sweet from the, the yogurt mm. and spicy though. Ooh. That was very nice. As we are very close to the Primark, it looks like a huge Primark as well. We're just gonna have a little uh, mooch around, see how big it is. It's massive. <laughs> it looks, does look massive. It's all Janine's idea, she really wants to go in. What? Primark. It's oh no, massive. thanks. No thanks. <laughs> this shows you how big this Primark is. It's got its own beauty studio. And then down here, we've just seen a um, sign for Central Perk Cafe and a barber's as well. Nick's off to have a look because he wants his hair cut in. <laughs> waffles in Central Perk. Apple and cinnamon waffles in Central Perk for 3 50 Mickey Mouse um, Christmas um, cushions. La, 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 la. That's it. Oh, look at that. Throw. Nice super throw. Is that, a, is that a Mickey one? No, no it's just a normal one. Someone just put it now. How much? One sec. Right, I'm not quite ready for a drink yet, so we're just having a mooch around the home section. Is that a tea light? Yeah. Seven quid. We call them like gonks or something, don't you? We're just having a mooch around the uh, smellies. The Anything? downside, oh, in Bramac, they don't have a sample, so you don't know what things smell of. It's like diffusers. I need to try Unless this. Unless it's a candle. Cedarwood vanilla. Yeah, I quite like that. I'm not sure then. 350. Forest pine and winter woods. Does it smell like a Christmas tree? No, it smells like cardboard. Is it nice? It almost smells like bubble gum. Does but it smell also like Christmas, Christmas at the same time. It's like a. Yeah. What is it though? Forest spruce. Is it a candle? Yeah. But it's a different scent to that, so it wouldn't smell the same. Spray. Christmas scented spray. Hmm. Yeah? I think. The, um... Yeah, I was in your nostril, that. Oh, I've got to smell it. It's not very powerful. Oops, something's dropped on the smash oh. um, Two pound for these ones. That's not bad. It smells nice and Christmassy as well. I might get a diffuser for one at oh. bathrooms. Let's have a look at this. Hmm. No smell whatsoever on that one. As we didn't get to spend enough time in um, Disney this time, should we get a new um, now, that Disney would, bauble? That would go on the tree at the apartment. Yeah. However, because the tree's so small, the bauble yeah. looks stupid. So, well, we can find something else. How much? A little ones? Mickey one. Oh, it's a bell. Seven pounds. An I believe bell with one Mickey ear on it. Mm. Eh? Eh? No, strange. they've got two. It's just falling off. All ah, right. Okay. It reminds me of a, a dog collar or something like that. £2.50. Harry Potter tree topper. It's one thing that we don't have actually on our... We don't have a tree topper, do we? No. 
Um, oh, it won't fit in the lodge, would it? Because the tree yeah. touches the ceiling. Just been talking to a lovely couple of lodgers who were just telling us that they uh, got married in Vegas in August. Hi, guys, if you're watching. The Goldens? Yeah, on top of your tree. Oh, look at this. I'd rather be playing Quidditch. Um, what's this? That is a massive mug. Hot drink gift set, nine quid. I don't, the, what is I don't that know what that is. Oh, it's a lid. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's quite the, like it's that. the seal for the lid. Right, Janine, if the kids are watching this, turn it away now. These are what we're going to get for the Christmas Eve box. Yeah. We're yeah, going to one get each. one each. You basically put the cookie mix in a cup, microwave it, yeah. and White it creates... chocolate and a normal chocolate. Yeah, it's like mug cakes. We've met yeah. them before, haven't we, in Bournemouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like these silver Mickeys with a crimbo hat on. Maybe They'd look well in the uh, lodge, that. Maybe we should get one of them for the kids for the Christmas Eve box. Santa's please stop here. Two has quid. been good all year. It should it should say on the other side though has not been good. Well, I can put something on. I'll yeah, put just like piece of hang a piece of coal onto yeah, it and just say on. see you next year. We'll put the names on there. Yeah, right. I'll get that one. Oh, proper going for it. Any stitch. Two fifty. I've got I've got the girls some uh, hot chocolate bombs already. Yeah. Disney advent calendar, wooden one, eighteen pound. But you've got to put your own stuff in, haven't you? Well, three fifty for a box of Heroes at Tesco. You sorted. Yeah. Is, um, oh yeah, there's different ones. Mickey Mouse, is the uh, sort of Christmas soldier type thing. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. Look at the size of that. Yeah. Eighteen pound that. The other one were eighteen. Right, we're now going to go and find Central Perk. So we've got Biscoff Frappe. How are you doing, vegan? These aren't even the Christmas ones. Is it not? No, they're just like normal. Yeah. Alright, let's go and have a look. Smokey's Primark Barbers. You're gonna get one? What is it? One level cut, 12 quid silver service. One level cut? What's a level cut? I don't know, but I presume just a normal cut. Scan there and book your appointment. Found it finally, Central Perk. It was only about a month ago, we went into the original one, wasn't it? Warner Brothers in, uh, Studios, yeah. You know, in LA. Just having a look at the uh, cakes in Central Perth. I quite like the look of the carrot cake. I quite like the look of the rainbow cake as well. We have just eaten and uh, oh, we're drowning. There's the sofa. Um, if you want sort of like a photo, and uh, we're just deciding what we're going to have. Right, we're done in Prime Arnie. We're going now to Affleck Palace, which my sister took us in years ago. And we've never been in before. It's like lots of kind of what would you call quirky, and quirky. Just that's unique it. Things. Joss sticks. Yeah. Well, it was about then. We handbags. It must be 20 years since we've been here. So Bombs. Hopefully, we've got a few um, Christmas bits in at this moment. Here we go. Affleck um, something or other. Manchester's tourism uh, retailer of the year in here. It got. Looks like the kind of place you'd score a bit of wacky backy. There we go. Lots of Joss sticks and kind of this hippie kind of style clothing and spells, there's like spell books and all sorts of stuff like that. Lots of different flaws of weird and wonderful things here. Nick found a keyboard that he had when he was 10 years old, sure back in the 1950s. This is what's different about our videos. You get to see everything. Lee's having his bum wiped by his sister. Sat on some apparently. Because he's sat on something. It must have been when you sat on those pallet benches when you were having that um, tartar fillet thing. She's Has he got a clean bum now? Kind of Not small. really. Yeah. Right, come on, we're going for a strain. back it's a couple of hours later um i've got the um living room all cozy with the fireplace on i need to um, get whatever that is on my uh, jeans off i'll show you quickly what we got from walmart uh, not walmart you know primark even the show so we got these for the girls for christmas eve 
with a cake mix inside, you put it in a, a mug. So we have chocolate flavor mug cake mix, vanilla flavor mug cake mix, and then um, a Santa please stop here. You need to write uh, the names on there. That was two pounds, they were three pounds 50 each. Um, I all, We also got some, what else did we get? Oh, I got some coat hangers and a new bog brush. Those lights are flickering. Need to sort those out. And um, I'm just gonna put some candles on. Got these the other day in the range when I went out with my folks. Had a lovely day Christmas shopping and going for meals and stuff, didn't vlog it. Well, I think I was with his mum. Um, so I've opened this one already. Those lights are flickering, Nick. Ooh, it's just gone off. It's gone off. I know. Um, so I've got, uh, opened this one already, got this one for Nick, Apple Cozy Cider, because he likes stuff like that, and then I've got this one for me, it smells beautiful, Marshmallow, uh, Mallow uh, Irish Cream, these are from Next. Mallow? Marshmallow, Marshmallow. Yeah, American, you know. Um, Irish Cream, it smells, oh, Marshmallow. it's so good, that's so sweet and sickly and lovely. Um, I'm going to go and put that on. For tea, you're asking what we're having. We're having beans on toast with sausage. I'm just about to prepare it. Delightful. And then we are going to put a Christmas tree or two up. We're going to put two Christmas trees up. Don't you look lovely? Let me. Very festive. Oh. oh, I forgot to say what I was going to point out as well. You're probably well Oops. aware of this if you've been to um, Primark. Um, at the moment, their carrier bags also double up as wrapping paper. They did that last year, I'm yeah, sure. They for did. Christmas presents. That is a good idea because. Recycling and all. Recycling. I mean, I've already got Christmas paper, so I won't be using that. But uh, good idea for anybody that wants to. Right. Dinner had tree out. So if you saw last year's vlog, this is the tree that we got um, for upstairs and downstairs. Came from Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't that much, was it? About 30 quid? Yeah, yeah. But I think when we ordered the second one, it had gone up, hadn't it? Yeah, and then at the apartment, we go for a bronze theme. Now then. Yeah. Is that? This is downstairs, def oh, is, is it? Is that the upstairs tree, the downstairs tree? I'm just trying to think where we put this belief, or it upstairs or yeah, downstairs. I think I've got the wrong one. Go get the other one. Mm. Right, second tree got. So, this one is a lot easier to put up than the one at the lodge. You've still got to fluff it though. Well, yeah. Fluffing's going to still, still take a while. Yeah, not as long. long. And then That's we have sure. to work out which set of lights, because if I remember correctly last year, the one upstairs had a lot less. We used the lights that we had outside on the tree. Okay. So they're in that bag somewhere. One's a big set, one's a little set. You forget about what you had, don't you? Sort of like from the previous year, so we have some um, Mickey. I can't remember. Did we have them on the tree last year? Yeah, I think so. You uh, sure? Yeah, somebody sent them, I think. I can't remember, so thank you to the lovely lodger that sent them. Uh, so there's a Mickey and a mini one there. I think that's the only Disney ones we have, isn't it? Yeah, on this I think tree. so. So this... Is this not upstairs? Well, actually, it can't be no, that. The, the, the other one's upstairs, The stuff in yeah. there's got to be upstairs. Right, so this one I remember when we filled it, it was literally, you, could all, you couldn't see any tree because we had that many baubles on it. Yeah, which is nice. So, uh, oh, they're bright. I know. Let's give me a All 3,000. Almost. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Ta da! Finished. Right. 
that ball needs to be pushed yeah. in. That one needs to be pushed in. That one does. This is going to be the front. Right. Now we have to transport it there. Go on then. And then we have to get all the presents upstairs, oh, yeah. the fake presents above among the trees. Definitely leaning to the right. That way? Yeah. Right. Let me find something. Ooh. Another marble? Yeah. Children in their beds, cause Santa comes tonight. Tree number one done. Maybe 2,000 lights is a little bit excessive for a seven foot tree. It's fine. But it looked damn fine. Yeah. Can we leave it up all year? You say that every year. No, but we, let's just do it one year. No. Every day is best. Why shouldn't we? We like it. Because it's not special it? then at Christmas. Yeah, no, but it looks good all year round. Right, upstairs for the number two. Come on. Then. Number two? You want a number two upstairs? Right, so the second tree goes in this. Corner to make it all nice and cosy in the mm. evenings. I remember last February the tree was up when we came back from Florida because mm. I remember taking it down where I spent one night in February in here with the tree up and just being cosy. Being cosy with the radiators on and it's lovely and warm in the apartment at the minute. It's very Christmassy. It's too warm. I'd much rather just buy a new set of lights than sit there. There's far too much wire on this for this tree. It's because it wasn't put away properly last uh, year. Well, where did we use this last year? They were on the tree at the lodge. The trees that we use on this one are... Um, the trees we use on this one? So the lights we use on this one are currently on somewhere else. So um, We're having to use the ones from the trees at the lodge, where there's so much wire yeah. that the tree will probably fall over with wire. Should we just have some more proper ones for this tree? It's only to one knot and foot, um... Foot thingy. Well, the £22 is set if I get some tree bright, which is what we use, the dense lights. Like Christmas, I can't be bothered. Just chuck them away. I'd just rather throw them away. Well, I'm not really Literally, one and a half hours later, we've done. If I could have, if I could have bought, gone out and bought some tonight, <laughs> I would have done it. It would have been worth it. They're all stretching out over there. It's literally taken, like I said, one and a half hours. Unfortunately, and there's more wire than there is lights. Yes. So but, um, we're just going to have to do as best rather than go and buy some. Well, it'll just be a wire tree. Once the lights on, you won't see it anyway. Done. And whilst the lights are on and the bedroom lights are off, doesn't look too bad because you can't see the 6,000 foot of wire on it. Now then turn the lights off and have a look. <laughs> you can't see actually any green for wire. Actually, it's not too bad. Not the best Christmas tree we've ever done. No. But when you just laid in bed on a night. Let me just turn the light off again. Not been able to see the TV because it's blocking it. Um, it's very nice and cosy. That'll do. That'll do. Right, back up. Perfect. I've had enough of Christmas trees this long enough already. Me too. It was your bloody idea to buy two last year. Might need to change the purple to maybe red yeah. or maybe white yeah. and turn the yeah. brightness down. Agreed. Right, so the decorations are up for this year. Um, I don't know what we're doing next in Vlogmas. Oh, actually, we are going to go to Aldi or Lidl and get our Christmas dinner and then take it to his mum's and put it in the freezer for when we um, have Christmas Eve. They're going to bring it over when they come over on Christmas Eve. Before everything sells out, probably a flu or something. Yeah, we just need to get a turkey crown. Um, or maybe a beef joint. We had beef joints when we had... We'll get both. Let's treat yourself this year and get both. Are we going to cook both? Well, we've got a big oven. Can you just have a steak for Christmas dinner? No, I do like a turkey for Christmas dinner. Or a vegan pie. You've got to, you've got to ruin the vlog, haven't you, with your vegan stuff? So tomorrow, Nick's up to his mum's uh, to see how she is. I'm going to do some work, catch up. Um, one of our friends, Mark, is coming around because he's got some work in the area. He's in Wigan, so he's gonna he's gonna come across and stay here. We may even go out for an Indian tomorrow night. Yeah. Are we vlogging all that tomorrow or not? Uh, we'll see. We we might do. We might not. We don't. We want to make sure because the situation we've got at the minute is because the um, road trip vlogs have just ended. 
we've only got six or seven or eight vlogs of vlogmas that we can do so to fit in the dates. So we might we want to make it vlogmasy. Yeah. Um, or we could just make the vlogs longer and just film as much as we can. We'll see. We could do. We might do. I don't know yet. You can even make going out to an Indian with our friend Mark Christmas Day by just putting a bit of Christmas music in the background. Maybe we should get him some tinsel for his head or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So thanks for watching today guys, hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Let us know which Christmas markets you've been to this year and which has been your favourite so far. I actually thought Manchester, Manchester was rubbish. I did actually. It was rubbish. Sorry everybody that lives in Manchester. But it's not not the, for the people in Manchester. It's not no, school. but it's their market. I oh, know, but it's their But they think it's good, but when you compare it to what Leeds used to be like, Leeds used to be really good. I always think Christmas markets in your head, it's like, ooh. Christmas market, but then when you get another rate rubbish. I was expecting it to be a German Christmas market, and it wasn't. It was just a market with stalls. A bit like what Alton Towers was, food and drink, and then the the, the other half, near down near the Arndale Centre, were all like crafts and things, wasn't it? I must admit, though, I enjoyed going on train. Yeah. I really like that bit. Despite him fighting against me, well, wanting no, to do it this morning. Think, what's the point going on a train? Because it's different. It was different. I think we're just it was fifteen pound return from um, from here to Manchester. I'm so. gonna have an hour chill now. I'm just watching the last Zar. Um, or Zaz. There's the Azaz. No, the last Zaz. It's Azaz, isn't it? No. Oh, I don't know. The last Zaz, which were the royal family of um, Russia. I have actually watched it before on Netflix. It's a really interesting Me too. story. Six episodes long. They were related to the Queen, weren't they? Yeah, but they got um, thrown up by the revolution. They got slaughtered. Well, yeah, revolution. Yep. So I'm off to watch that. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.